let's open the project and just have a little look around to see what we've got in terms of navigation and the, op the options that you have in Visual Studio 2012 are slightly different to the ones that you might, you might see in the previous videos that are on the, the Moodle site so let's just have a look in a little bit of an explore um, there's my tables which I have um, in, you know, linked through the, the normal process as you would have done when you created your Lightswitch application all the same maybe slightly different names to what you've been used to when you were doing your planning but there they all are let's just have a look at what we got here these are all the tables uh, these are the screens menus where you can do select right click and add a screen but let's look at the data first I want to just look at one thing in particular is we're going to add what's called a computed property a computed property is really useful because it allows you to take two of the attributes within a particular table and conjoin them or do whatever you like with them really and calculate them perhaps and offer the user something useful in terms of user interface so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the clubs table first so double click it and you will see all of the fields that are now in that table look up here we can add relationships to new tables we can do the computed property that we're about to do in just a second we can query it we'll do querying in just a little while and we're going to do screens as well we're going to create lots of details screens so that we get a, a capacity to do our drill down but let's do the computed property first a computed property is one which allows you to join two fields together or multiply two numbers together or do things with them mathematically so that you can present the user with a meaningful piece of information which is going to be worked from the data that you've got in the tables here's our table club now you see the club here if you look down here on the right hand side has a summary property now intelligently the system ignores the ID in the new version of Lightswitch which you didn't do and that's a real difference from the 2011 version you've seen in the other movies but here the club name has been chosen as the chosen uh, summary property that's what we display for club by default you can change it to any one of these but I think that's a good one but what I'd like us to do is to, to be able to join the club name and the club code together so that the, the user will see both and we'll then turn that into the uh, summary property automatically so we go to computed property we're going to call this one club title and we'll join the club name and the club code together with a space in between the words perhaps a comma in order to create this we go to the edit method and this is one of the few bits of code that you will have to write and we all we have to do is we have to return bits of the information together in the form that we want them so we do result equals this which is the object we're working with dot club name press tab then we'll do a plus and we're going to add a space shall we put a colon between them another space and then add and then this dot and we want the club code so go up here and we put the C sharp terminator which is the semicolon that's created our computed property if we go back to clubs there's our club title and if we go to there our summary property can be changed to club title so when the user sees default data for this particular table it will now show the club name and the club co code concatenated now there's a pretty word <laughs>